Hi, my name is Charles Haydenruch and this is my entry for the Be the Best Be the Next Best Selling Author.com competition sponsored by the Simpleology Bestseller Blueprint. I have chosen to document my most life-changing moment. It was way back in the 70s when I, as a product of the National Christian, Christian Education System and a student of the Rand Afrikaans University, the bastion of the Afrikaner in the big city of Johannesburg, read the following words of the most famous author and philosopher, perhaps the greatest, Ayn Rand. I swear by my life and my love of it that I will never live for the sake of another man nor ask another man to live for mine. These words were the motto of the valley where the capable social dropouts were building their free market dream. Her philosophy changed my whole outlook on life and the way that I've lived my life. Along the way I've had some help from other friends. Um, this little book also has been very helpful throughout a large part of my life. Um, and oh, by the way, look what I found at a second-hand bookstore um, a few days ago. It looks pretty well read. Um, it's a copy of another of Ayn Rand's works. I wonder how many lives this one has influenced. If one looks at what has happened in Zimbabwe over the past two decades, one can just see the devastation and human suffering that collectivist thinking and policies produce. I've also just come back from a trip to Burma, a beautiful country with beautiful people, but where the taxi drivers say of the military regime, they are no government, murderers and thieves, everything broken in Burma. It's sad. Over the past few weeks we had a number of power cuts in South Africa, or what they call load shedding events, <laughs> a tongue-in-the-cheek memo um, from Eskom, the state-run state utility is doing the round. We should not refer to power failures as blackouts, but to previously lit areas. So to all you out there, ask yourself, who is John Galt? Look at the mirror and make it happen before the lights go out.